What's going on, fellas? I've got this 2011 Kia Sorento here, and I'm gonna use this car to show you how to change your brake light switch. I'll show you the fuse for the brake lights, and I'm also gonna show you what can cause a common issue that will result in your brake lights being stuck on. So to start with the fuse, it's located underneath this cover here, which we remove by pushing in on the tab here in the front and the two tabs in the rear while lifting up. When you pop the cover off, you should find a fuse puller on the back. I prefer to use pliers. The fuse that provides power for the brake lights is this fuse here. It's called the stop lamp fuse. And this is what a good fuse looks like. If you find that that fuse is blown, you can use this spare fuse uh, to get your brake lights working again. Now moving on, let's take a look at the brake light switch itself, where it's located at. So popping down here, starting at the brake pedal and following the, the lever up, this is where you'll find your brake light switch or your stop lamp switch. And you'll note when you hit the brake pedal, you can see this lever moving away from the switch and allowing the plunger to come out of the switch and that's what turns the brakes on. And if you look at what the plunger rides on, there's a rubber grommet here. And I have seen where this grommet can disintegrate and break and fall out. You may even find it laying here on the floor mat. And when that grommet breaks, that will cause your brake lights to be stuck on. So if your brake lights are stuck on, check to see if you're missing this piece here. Uh, and if you are, you can hopefully find a replacement or in a pinch, I've done things from taping pennies to it. Um, you can improvise if you, if you can imagine a way to uh, put a piece here. Now, as far as removing the brake light switch, you'll need some open end wrenches. The bottom nut here, you rotate it clockwise. And you continue to rotate it clockwise until it comes all the way off of the switch. Now, at this point, you'll want to disconnect it. You do so by pushing in on this part of the connector here while you pull the connector away from the body of the switch. So with our switch disconnected, we can take a look at the wiring. When you hit the brakes, this plunger comes out and the switch will connect these two bottom pins together. So connecting the two pins closest to the retainer will cause your brake lights to come on. So you yourself can test that by just using a paper clip or a wire, connect those two pins and see if your brake lights work. Now when installing a new switch, before you thread the switch into the bracket, go ahead and connect it to your harness. At this point, you can hop out and check your brake lights. They should be on because on the new switch, the plunger will be out until you install it. Now, as far as installing the switch, popping down, back down here, it can only slide on pretty much one way because it's slotted. What you'll want to do is with one hand, hold the nut here and with the other hand, slide this into it and then you can start threading the nut on there. And what you'll want to do is adjust the position of the two nuts until you've got the uh, plunger just barely peeking out. So adjusting the position at this point will change how quickly the brake lights come on as you hit the brake pedal. And when you've got everything adjusted where you need it to be, go ahead and lock it down. Use your open-ended wrenches here. So yeah, I hope that this information was helpful for you and was a good starting point in checking out your brakes, or your brake lights rather. Please let me know down below if you have any questions or more importantly, if you have any advice about troubleshooting the brake lights on the Sorento, please chime in as well. Thanks.